Another silly sweater, the silly hat's back. Yep, it's time for another in my series of Stephen King gift ideas. And this time we're talking about something that really pops. Hi everyone, I'm Dave Musson at Dave Musson on Instagram and this is a place where I talk to you about all things Stephen King. And this is another of my videos exploring gift ideas for the Stephen King fan in your life. That might be gift ideas for you or it might be gift ideas for a loved one. Perhaps a loved one has sent you this video as a very unsubtle hint of the things they might buy for whatever holiday is coming up. Obviously I'm dressed for Christmas, but there are other holidays available that you might be buying gifts for. If you want more ideas, I've done previous videos. There's one here. Uh, there was one very recently on Emily Tabet's excellent playing cards. And there's another one here, I think. Anyway, the links are all in the description, but this time, talking about something that is relatively easy to get hold of, but perhaps doesn't sit on as many constant reader shelves as I would expect. It's the pop-up edition of The Girl Who Loved Tom Gordon. Now this is a beautiful, exquisite book, and I'm very excited to show it to you and hopefully encourage you to consider it as a gift this year or whenever you're watching this. So this one was produced by Little Simon and published in 2004, and of course is based on the 1999 novel of the same name. And you can check out my 19 reasons to read that novel elsewhere on this channel if you want to, once you've finished buying your gifts. Oh, if you're buying gifts, if you're buying gifts, should have done this at the start. Don't forget the Stephen King, the ultimate Stephen King quiz book written by me. You can find the links in the description. Really great gift idea. That was shameless, wasn't it? Now, back to this book. So this is based on the 1999 novel, produced in 2004. Now the text adaptations for this was done by Peter Abrahams. The amazing illustrations were done by Alan Dingman. And the paper engineering, the thing that makes it pop and move and just be a wonderful immersive experience was done by Keyes Moorbeek. Um, and don't be fooled that this is a pop-up book. This ain't something for little kids. This is worthy of a place on the bookshelves of a constant reader of any age. And it was something I just put off buying for ages and ages. And well, now I've got it, I absolutely love it. So in this video, I'm gonna take you through page by page, let you see all of the incredible work that has gone into this and hopefully convince you that it's worthy of a place under your tree, in your stocking or just wrapped in a box with a nice ribbon around it and a bow on top. Ready to look inside? Me too, let's do it. Okay, The Girl Who Loved Tom Gordon pop-up book. Let's see how much of this can actually fit on screen. Um, I'm gonna go through and just show you some of the amazing engineering that has gone into this quite fantastic book and prove to you that even though it's a pop-up book, it's definitely not for kids, or not just for kids. Um, and if you haven't got one of these yet, like I said in the introduction, they are relatively easy to track down. I got mine on Abe Books, that's A-B-E books.com um, or .co.uk. There's probably other domains available as well, so that's secondhand books. And obviously eBay is a good source for it as well. But let's crack into this book. So, I mean, look at that. You can see they're off for a walk in the woods. Um, and there's Trish going off for a whiz. Um, and we have extra bits that pop up. Look, looking grumpy in the car. Um, so even though there's not that many pages, it packs a lot in. And look at this, you can pull the little arrow along and follow the finger down here. Just grab hold of this. So much pressure of a live demo of a pop up, you can see following the trail. And then Again, we get more text, like really economically packed in. So it's really, really hands-on, really, really nice book to play with. So we've got Trish falling down off the cliff here. Um, I mean, look at that, that's stunning, stunning engineering. We've got more um, wording in here and a bit more here as well so again you get the story but it's just a really fun way of experiencing it so we see a bag we've got this one where um, yeah, 
you can see, you get the idea. Um, mosquitoes going around, and then this is one of my favorite parts. Look here, let's look at the lightning. Sound effect by me, that was, in case you were thinking, hey, has Dave used a professional sound library? No, it's me just going. But anyway, very cool. Um, more text over there. This one is quite a stunning layout. This is um, going across all the, the bits in the marsh. Um, more text down here. More, more pop-ups here. So, yeah. I mean, it's, it's just so much to explore. Um, watch the shooting stars. That's more sound effects by me, in case you were wondering. Um, there he is. Yo, Tom. Doing his little thing. I'm going to stop doing sound effects now. Um, we've got Trish. That's it. Give me the drink. Give me the drink. Give me the drink. That's so cool. Oh, please. I'm so hungry. I said I'd stop doing sound effects, didn't I? Sorry. Um, so we've got Trish uh, in a truck. Um, got Trish really not looking so good. Um, and then we've got the scary god of the lost. Oh no, it's gone. Oh, it's still there. Oh, it's gone. It's still there. Um, Oh, a claw. Oh, no, no. Uh, oh, yes, there. Fuck me. That's the God of the Lost. And here we go. The iconic moment. Gonna pop this up. Ah, oh, look at that. Yeah, the sunlight. Nom, 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 nom. I said I'd stop doing sound effects, didn't I? Um, and there's Tom watching it all. And then finally, back in the hospital, all safe and sound and all good so yeah a, a whiz through but honestly this is such a good fun read um it really really will make you love this story a lot more i mean i know a lot of people love it anyway as a novel but like it really just brings it to life and just makes it so interactive and so fun to play with so as i said it's pretty easy to get hold of i for some reason put it off for ages um but honestly, as you can see, it is a wonderful piece of work. Um, maybe keep it away from toddlers. But yeah, I can't recommend it enough. And it would make a great gift for a Stephen King fan. Okay, so there you go. There's the Girl Who Loved Tom Gordon pop-up book. I got mine on Abe Books. So I got mine secondhand. You'll see it on there. You'll see it on eBay. Do hunt around. It's not too difficult to find. It's not too expensive. And the work that's gone into it is definitely, definitely worth it and could make a great Stephen King present for either you or that Stephen King constant reader in your life. If you want more gift ideas, I've got more on this channel. The links are all in the description. There's loads of other things you can explore that might make for a great Stephen King gift. And hey, stick around because I might just have another one coming up very soon as well. Happy hunting!